Alright guys, uh, long time no see. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Jason. Thank you for tuning in to Ski Fish and Enjoy Life. And after about a week or so of not the nicest weather between the wind and the rain, we're finally back out here at Sandy Hook. Got a little surprise for you guys at the end of the vid, but we're going to wait till the end for, for us to show you. Uh, we are going to be hitting up Sandy Hook today, uh, this afternoon into the darkness. We got blood worms, we got fresh clam, we got fresh bunker. Uh, the Godfather will be here. Dennis from PA should be here. And well, when it comes to Hooper, who knows, but hopefully we'll see him too. Uh, this should be a nice evening. I uh, can't wait to get back out there. Let's go. Hey, what we're doing here, we're doing an early segment of Ask the Godfather. And today's segment is gonna be on how much you love walking. Go ahead, Jeff. Look, I'd rather fish in Cliffwood Beach. But you see where that sign is over yes, there? Yes, yes, yes. That's the ocean. Uh, okay, okay. And now I have to go not only past that sign, but to that post over there and all the way to the right. Oh, is, is, it, is, it, is it my fault the way the sandbars and holes form, okay? I, I mean, do you want me to try to, like, talk to the weather gods where the hole will be, like, right there? No. There's a, there's a hole there. There's a hole over there. There's white water. We have to go where the fish are. Well, I thought you said that the sandbars moved. Well, yeah, they do move. They move to a spot that requires you to walk more. Uh, not easy, guys. Got a regular from the channel here. We have Dennis from Eastern PA. And I believe Dennis just had a fish on. Tell us what happened. Yeah, I had him up into the sand here. Okay. And uh, he just kept walking back and he popped off. Wow. Like 35, 40 inches. So, so, you're, so you're saying to me you lost a 35, 40 inch fish. Yes. You know what that tells us about Dennis? He did not curse one time. <laughs> you are like so much more mature than me. I'd literally have to bleep out half the thing. I felt like it. Yeah. Just got a hit on the blood worm. Let's see if this turns to something. Guess not. Fish on! worth two blood worms that is that is that's a that's an 18 inch yeah all right all right guys now that that now now uh godfather i want you to identify something what is this called escape okay it's not a stingray how did you know it wasn't a stingray uh, nice, huh? e e exactly. So when certain people on the channel, I'm not going to say they're Hooper, say that's a stingray, you're like, no, it's a skate. Do you see the Hooper coming, correct? Right over there? Wow. He is it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Now, now you know his technique. The first thing he's going to do, step one, is he changes the subject to try to get my focus away from yelling at him. But then he's going to talk to the Godfather and then you to try to rally allies against me for yelling at him. That is that is the Hooper pattern. Here's Hooper. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he caught a stingray. Now, if you notice, there's Hooper, okay, without a care in the world, like he did nothing wrong at all. My guess is he doesn't have a rig. He doesn't have bait. Oh, I got a rig right on here. You, can take uh, you got a rig? Oh, a rig? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he lost every rig I tied for him. All right, guys, guys. Before we do my send off, Hooper, can I ask you questions? about 48 degrees in here in Windy. Why are you wearing shorts? Well, there's a little of this out. My guy's so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I swear, I swear to God, uh, get, get, get it, get it. You walked away for a second when you were getting the clam. No, no, I hear him screaming effing wave, and he, and he, get, he gets drenched wet. I thought he was going to go down. Yeah, I got so full of water on my feet, so I took my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like undressing on the beach and it's like 48 degrees out here. <laughs> I, I come prepared, as you can see. Hey, hey guys, just so you know, none of this is scripted. He does it, it's spontaneous. 
throwing out the, put out the red light. All right, ready? Well, we, will you stand in the light so I can see you? Stand in the light. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Can, 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 can you stop? Can, can you do me a thing? Can you do me a favor, man? Could you stop singing so I can do my... All right, all right, all right, guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> Alright guys, obviously that's Hooper, okay? As soon as we lost the filmable daylight, I had a tire rig for his pole because he, I swear to God, he comes to the beach, no hooks, no bait. I hand him my pole and say, hold this. And, and, it, and literally two minutes as I'm tying, he catches this. And, and, and then after that, we did catch a whole bunch of these. But guys, I said in the title of the video, we did have a pretty nice bass caught. Now, I want you guys to check out uh, some footage from yesterday at dusk. And this was the biggest bass I've caught in this year. And I'm pretty sure it was my biggest um, of this, um, er, actually my biggest ever off the beach, guys. Check this out. Notice, we have white water right there. And the white water's gonna stop, which means there's a hole, and that's exactly where we're throwing it. Right in the hole in front of the white water. I looked, I lucked out, and uh, the rain missed me by about, I don't know, five miles. Got sunny skies behind us, so hopefully we'll have a nice evening. But this is some pretty cool uh, cloud cover we got here. Fish on, guys, fish on. Here we go. We got a nice one. This this fish has some weight to it. On the double jumbo blood one, guys. He's on the surface. I believe we have a keeper striper here. Woo! Here we go. He's coming in. He hit right. But we, we got the bass. This is a big bass we got. Holy shit! You have you have to interrupt me mid focus here. <laughs> I love Hooper, I really do. <laughs> Put out the red light. <laughs> but all right, but 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 anyway, guys. Of course, I caught that bass. It was actually um, about 30 pounds by my estimation, 41 inches. I was by myself, so besides the one picture of the bass laying in the sand, I really wasn't able to get many pictures. Uh, we got him right back in the water in less than 60 seconds, and I'm happy to say he did swim off. Uh, so that was definitely a good thing. So guys, uh, that's it for now at Sandy Hook. Uh, I'll actually be heading down to LBI for the for actually a three-day weekend. Going to fish Friday night and all day Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully I'll bring you guys some nice footage. So until next time, guys, please remember, every day is a blessing. And don't ever forget to enjoy life.